What's up guys, it's Joey XD and just, you know, it takes me a minute to get some videos up. The last couple have been getting copyrighted, but I am so happy to say that this one for sure cannot. It's another YouTuber's uh, video. Today we're going to be watching Ryan's uh, pitch meeting uh, about Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness. And guys, I'm just like, if you guys do know about this channel, it, now it's a new channel. They've like officially gave it its own domain because it's just grown so big. But I have literally been with these videos, the series of videos since like day one. I've been watching this dude for over what two to three years. Like wow. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Spoilers. So you have a Doctor Strange <laughs> sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's gonna be called Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Oh boy, I bet we're gonna see some wacky multiverses. Oh, you know it, sir. Oh man. Briefly. What? Glimpses of them for a minute or so, they're gonna flash by. Oh, oh, okay, that's all right. Yeah, and then we're gonna pretty much be in the same two, three universes for the whole thing. The person who can jump universes can't control her power. Oh, that's too bad. So who is this character? America. Captain America, but that's not possible. <laughs> At the end of Endgame, he turned into... Uh, Joe Biden. No, this character's name is America Chavez, and she got so scared of a bee that her mom's disappeared. What? They're gone, sir. But what? okay, but what about this America <laughs> character? Tell me about her character development. I just did. Oh, all right. So America has the power to open portals between universes, but it only happens when she's really scared. Bummer. And so at the beginning of the movie, she's with this alternate Doctor Strange, and he gets killed by this big eyeball tentacle monster. Oh, very exciting. Yeah, and they end up in our dimension, so. Eh, did they though? It was, that was a different monster. No, I'm not tripping. Or did it, like, I, am I tripping? Was that not the, a different monster? Or did it, like, manifest in something else? Did it turn into something else because it went through another universe? I don't know. Makes me think. Makes me wonder. Because they had the runes. Maybe that's just a slip up. Not going to... Not trying to call him out on that. Our oh, Wong and our Strange fight this monster. Oh boy. So they're fighting and slicing, and eventually they do this special hand move and stab it in the eye. Probably should have led with that move. Maybe. So then Doctor <laughs> Strange goes to see Wanda, but it turns target. out she's the one who's trying to capture America. What? Why? Well, she wants to use her powers to go be with her kids from WandaVision, but in another universe. I thought we kind of had her work through all that in WandaVision. Yeah, but then she read an evil book, so that just undid all that, and she's pure evil now. See, this is why I don't... Don't read. So it turns out she's the one who sent that interdimensional <laughs> tentacle monster. Th so I'm trying not to pause too much, but like, yeah, that, that's a big, that's a big thing. If you know that you're in a movie, don't read anything. Just don't read. Reading always leads to the worst amount of crap and probably one of the worst time to read is when you're in a horror. I know you guys have seen Evil Dead 2014. Hopefully you haven't because oh my God. But there's always someone that wants to read the goddamn Latin. Don't read the Latin. But I digress. Thing. How'd she have access to that interdimensional being? Unclear. Wait, hadn't she like made her kids up or something? She had, yeah. Can't she just do that again? No. And I guess she wants to go see Vision too, <laughs> huh? No. Why not? Because. Can't she work with America to find a universe where the Wanda's dead but the kids are alive? No. Why not? So the movie can happen. Stop All right, well, questions. it seems like this is happening. It is. And so now Doctor Strange has to protect this girl from Wanda. Man, so what does she do? Well, Wanda attacks and kills a bunch of sorcerers, and Doctor Strange and America zip over to another oh. universe. Oh boy, what's she going on in this off. universe? Oh, it's real wacky, sir. Red traffic lights and green traffic lights are switched, and pizza is balls. Oh. No, like they're balls of pizza. Oh, okay. So eventually, they get brought in front of the Illuminati. <laughs> oh, who are they? Oh, we're talking Captain Carter, Maria Rambo, Captain Marvel, Black Bolt, Professor X, and Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Oh, they're all from things. They sure are, sir. Oh, boy. Sometimes I recognize things, and my brain releases fun chemicals. Hell yeah, sir. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm familiar with some of the things you said. Fantastic, sir. So Doctor Strange tries to warn them that Wanda's gonna come kill everybody, but they're like, yeah, no, we can handle her. Uh-oh, Wanda's on her way? She is. She does this thing called dream walking where she can control alternate Wandas. Not good. So then Reed Richards, the smartest man in the universe, is like, Wanda, you better oh, back Lord. off because Black Bolt here can destroy you with one whisper from his mouth. One whisper from his mouth? That's a weird way to phrase that. Where else would a whisper come from? But then Wanda's gonna be like, <laughs> what mouth? And his mouth is gone. Oh, he was setting her up for a one-liner. That's why he said it so 
weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then what happens? Well, then Black Bolt blows his own mind. I feel like it's weird that the smartest man in the universe told her exactly how to kill him. He shut up, and then she kills them one by one, and she can <laughs> alter reality, so it's pretty brutal. So what happens to Mr. Fantastic? Oh, spaghetti? Oh, fantastic spaghetti, spaghetti is tight. <laughs> sure is. And what does she do to the others? Well, then she decides to stop altering reality so we could have a little action scene, and she makes something fall on yeah. Captain Marvel and crushes her to death. That doesn't seem like it would hurt Captain Marvel. Yeah, but it does, because this <laughs> is just a cameo. And what about Captain Carter? 50% off. Oh, well, that's actually a pretty good deal. So now Strange <laughs> in America and an alternate Christine Palmer <laughs> have to run away from Wanda through these tunnels, and they're closing blast <laughs> doors, but she's just going through them. Uh-oh, so what do they do? Well, eventually, they close a blast door behind them, so then they stop and turn around to see if she'll get through. Why wouldn't she? She got through all the others. Yeah, well, they're gonna stop at this one, because Wanda's gonna do a fun little jump scare. Oh, very scary. It is. So eventually, Wanda catches that them and captures the America. Oh, no. And so she uses America's powers to send Doctor Strange and Christine to this destroyed universe where there's this evil Doctor Strange. Oh, so Strange has to fight an evil version of himself? Yeah, he does. They're gonna have this musical fight. Oh, I love like a rap battle? So no, like throwing musical notes at each other with magic. <laughs> like a rap uh, okay, battle. gotcha. I like my thing a lot better. Well, that's too bad, sir. So then Doctor <laughs> Strange uses that evil book to dreamwalk into the corpse of that dead Doctor Strange. Oh. Yeah, so then he's gotta go zombie fight zombie. Wanda with a bunch of souls of the damned, and Christine's gonna kind of coach him on what to do. How does she know what to do? Unclear. But then they realize to defeat Wanda, they have to use America's powers. Well, that's gonna be hard to do since she doesn't know how to use them. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, Doctor Strange tells her to believe in herself, and so... You know, that does the trick. Oh, oh, okay. Usually does oh, great. The trick. Yeah, the yeah. power was inside her all along or whatever. So she sends Wanda to another <laughs> dimension and sees her kids, but they're scared of her. So she realizes she's kind of a monster. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Yeah, so then she collapses a temple onto herself. Jeez. So at the end of the movie, America is training to be a sorcerer, just like Doctor Strange. She's not trying to look for her moms. Oh, yeah. No, she's not. <laughs> well, okay then. So what do you think? <laughs> well, I think it sounds oh, like a lot yeah. of fun. I'm just trying to think of some cool Reed Richards casting, right? You know, something that'll get people talking. Any ideas? Uh, nope. No ideas. Wait. Do that again? Do that again, but look to your right. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I know exactly who to get. Yes, sir. Bruh. Oh, my God. Um, when he walked out, like, okay, so they had already spoiled uh, Professor X coming into the movie. So I was like, damn. Still, still cool to see him, obviously. Like, especially, I didn't fully understand that it was a, an X-Men uh, 1990s reference, you know, from the cartoon, the animated series. So that was that was pretty cool. At least that there was that, you know, to still get me. Um, I was not paying attention. <laughs> I know he looked different from like the regular uh, Professor X that we're used to that he usually plays. But anyways, <clears throat> but when John Krasinski had came out as Fantastic Mr. Fantastic, like I, oh, I immediately started clapping. I think I started to clap. Yes, I started another clap. I was very satisfied with that moment. I was very happy. Like seeing Captain Carter was cool. I mean, I've never been the biggest fan of hers. Like, it's not like I don't like her, but at the same time, it's not like she's like up there in my mind. Like, I'm sorry. There's just no replacing um, Chris Evans as Captain America. Like, he has such charisma that you're not gonna be able to replace. So that was cool to see, though. You know, I was like, hey, that's dope. That's dope as hell. Awesome. But they brought him up, bro, and like a teleport thing, and I lost my mind. I was like, bro, not only does this confirm Fantastic Four in this, but you got John Krasinski, bro. Fans have been going crazy for him to play Mr. Fantastic for years. And they want his wife, Emily Blunt, to play his wife in the movie. I was like, bro, she would be perfect. Like, that would be so awesome. I don't really care who players, uh... Um, the human torch and the thing but like those two like definite but like, I was happy they got him and it was so sad I don't care that sh they downscaled her power to fight Captain Marvel and uh, especially Captain America or is her name Captain Britain I always forget her super name Peggy uh, I don't care I'm sorry I still love that scene I wouldn't change anything about it which is badass and as I've seen for people talking about uh, his <laughs> mistake of saying he could kill you with his mouth I do like where people are going you know 
fans always make up reasons to kind of justify what they feel, what other people feel are mistakes, gaps, uh, loopholes, uh, plot, plot holes is what it'd be called. Um, but I like where they're going with it. Like most people are saying, well, Reed Richards, it's not like he just wants to kill Wanda or, and, and, or at least they can understand that that's their Wanda being controlled by some other Wanda, you know? They have their own Wanda, so it's like, you, you're you not gonna immediately just off your friend, you know? And then, especially, they know, as far as they know, she's not that, like, reality-altering, like, power level, you know? Like, she's a whole different something in their universe, probably, like, way weaker. She can even fight off that Wanda. So, I, you know, they just didn't know what to expect. They should have expected more. But, shoot, I don't blame him. And he's just trying to give her a warning. It's not like he wants to offer at the first chance they get. He wants to talk to her and try to get through to her. So, that's what I feel. I, I like those comments. And I just agree with it as well. He seems like he'd be that person. I'm going to give you a fair warning. I could shoot you with this gun. Would I be that specific? I could shoot you. I'd stop there. But I digress. Uh, but overall, I love these pitch meetings just about every one of them. The only time I don't watch them is when I plan on watching the movie, but just haven't seen it yet. But every other time, yeah, I mean, like, I'm watching. If I've seen the movie, I'm watching this pitch, this pitch meeting. I think I've watched at least 95% of all his videos from Screen Rant and now on his own channel. So, you got, there's like at least two to 300 videos of movies to watch. So you guys got to check them out, like, whenever you get some chance. Like, seriously, they're, they're really entertaining. So thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a great one. This is Joey XD. I'm out.